And picked up now by Duncan to Parker to Jefferson. Rose with the rejection inside. After they improved offensively, they're going to be a good team this year. They're going to improve defensively, Kevin. Stoppage of play was because of a shot clock issue. They have fixed that. Salmon's inside. Doug, he averaged 18 points a game. Wow. Now they were 23 and 30 till they made that trade win. 18 and 11, the beautiful playoff run. This is a team that finished the year with a lot of confidence, and it showed in their seven-game series against the Celtics. A ton of flasher defense by Noah on top. That left Duncan down low with Thomas to defend. Mono Ginobili has just come in for Richard Jefferson. First substitution of the game inside Duncan got good position on Noah boy, but a big man can stake his claim inside what in the paint great off the ball movement uh, movement to the ball and, and finding open areas Nice pass Parker inside to Tim Duncan who is to SC George Hill has just come in for Tony Parker where they can really manage these minutes now for San Antonio with that depth something you're talking about nine, seconds ago. nine guys played 20 or more minutes last night and McDice played 18, so they had almost 10 guys last night play at least 20 minutes. So you oh, one well, let's see. Antonio Doug has had some success with late round picks. Blair, by the way, just picked up number one. Yeah, look at Ginobili, Tony Parker, George Hill, Dewan Blair. I mean, do we need to talk about picks that they made and traded? They traded, uh, they took John Salmons, they took Leandro Barbosa, they took Vano Rudrick, and all the guys Scola. they've taken, uh, Luis Scola. Games that don't matter, and, and so all of a sudden the value of the basketball is not nearly as important as it is when you're playing on a good team and you're trying to win a championship. Here is Derek Rose, and that's fun to talk to. Really digs inside the game, but they had to go to their owner this past summer and say we need some money to get guys like Jefferson and some free agents. And with a great spin move, he hits a pretty shot from about 15. See that first time. Now here's what they want, Richard Jefferson: be in the attack mode, mid-range jump shooting. Don't just be a three-point shooter. Get to the line. Derek Rose playing well. The Bulls up by. So Greg Popovich went to the owner and said, if you want to win a championship, we're going to have to go to the luxury tax because right now we can't beat the Lakers. They're a better team. And there's Tony Parker getting the hit, the chance for a three-point play. You got to give Mr. Holt a lot of credit there in San Antonio. Small market. They've never paid the luxury tax. They've had superstars who've taken less money to build a team, one of them being Tony Parker. And uh, Greg Popovich, they sat down and said, look, this is what we need to do. They, they go out and take Richard Jefferson's contract for two years. They give uh, Antonio McDice uh, a pretty good See, not putting out enough, and, and could he have made himself available for the playoffs in the end of the regular year? As they go inside, Heinrich, look at the ball rotation. Sound we did it. Back to you, Coach. Watch out for the food. Kevin McHale, here comes Parker the other way. The stutter step in the drop. Tony Parker remains as fast a guard as you'll find in the NBA with eight points and three for that speed. Here ride 22 points a game. Dan dancing with Jefferson. The wall rejected by Duncan inside. Here comes Ginobili. Off to Jefferson by Rose. And the end of the year goes on. Rose. Thomas Bonner comes out to meet him. Two in a row for Thomas Thomas. Playing in that playoff series. A little one by Chicago, as you saw. The shot clock now is down to eight. Noah guarding Duncan. And again, here's the glass. And Tim Duncan in. I got to make him put the ball on the floor. He's in too good a shooting rhythm. Rose, Thomas. Now the dice comes out on it, but too late. Thomas is no forcing him to take tougher shots, and it's Iris Thomas flying at him on that weak side. And there's Thomas. How about Miller's pass, Doug? Brad Miller can pass that ball. We talked about it at Sacramento. He, Chris Weber, Vladi Divac. And this is contagious right here. You get big men making the extra pass. Brad Miller rewarding Tyrus Thomas. Remember I talked about you can't get discouraged, Tyrus. You got to keep moving. Got to keep working. It'll start coming your way. He has been fantastic in the importance of being able to, to have that lead going to the third quarter so you can rest your guys for the finish. Heinrich on Hill. Kirk. Kirk. Again, Heinrich, four of eight. The double by Blair. Here comes Miller into two once again. And Brad Miller off the bench for seven. So you got to close on him because he can shoot the three. Hill weaving for the deuce. Nice play by Jones. Gibson had picked up his third personal foul. Rose over Parker. Rose has got 11. Duncan right there with another rebound. San Antonio over six in this fourth quarter. 
Great pass. Parker in stride on the 13th for Duncan. Spurs have missed 14 consecutive three-point shots. Finley for three. Finally, they get one to go. 13, then losing Ben Gordon. First of all, he's a terrific defender. I talked about being a combo guard. He's guarding Ginobili right now. He plays with Rose. He is going to be a vital part of their success this year. Duncan again kisses it off the glass with... Miller. Duncan comes out on him. That's exactly what Miller wanted to happen. Because he... But the question is going to be, Doug, for Chicago in big games, late in a close game, who's going to take that final shot? It used to be Ben Gordon. You put the ball in Derrick Rose's hands now, let him create something. You've got to watch Cleveland and Boston, Doug, on the opening night of the NBA. Watch a terrific game here in Chicago. The Spurs and the Chicago Bulls. Great way for TNT to begin the season. And I